This documentary shows what leads to drugs. What effects happen under the use of drugs. And what you have to go through to get off drugs. We interviewed three people. JD the drug addict. Veronica his album. And Spot his best mate. To find out a bit more about this tragic story. We started off taking drugs when I was eight. We, start, we started off with a simple cracker just to get me through the day, you know? And then I progressed up to hunky dories. We started eating them at first, and to get the proper booze out of them, we started snorting them, you know? Yeah. How do you feel about your son taking drugs? Ah, uh, it's really bad. No mother would want their son to take drugs. It's really sad story. When did you find out about your son taking drugs? When he was eight. I just came into his room and I saw him sniffing crisps. That was terrible, that was shocking. I was very disappointed because I knew he's a good lad and that. Uh, he didn't need to do stuff like that, but he got in with the wrong bunch of people and he left me for dirt. How did it affect the friendship? It affected badly because he kept going off to get his supply and he was never himself around me and that he just kept trying to get me to do drugs, so it wasn't a good friendship anymore. What was your reaction when he started taking drugs? My first reaction was I was very annoyed because I know that Junkie Dory is a good lad and he's always up for having a laugh, but when he started taking drugs he changed and that he wasn't himself anymore. side effects of the drug? Um, a lot of people say I twitch but I don't really see it and stuff you know they, they say I twitch a lot but you know again I don't see it at all. Oh man that was crispy. Uh. Son, you got a problem and you need help. I know you've been on Hunky Dory's all night. I'm not touching that Hunky Dory's, it's just the flu, man. It's not flu, you need the help. And I know you've been touching the Hunky Dory's, don't lie to you. No, I don't have no problem. Sean, we both know you have a problem and we want to help, but first you have to admit you have a problem. I'm telling you, it's just the flu, man. <laughs> well, whatever you think, we're putting you into rehab. What? We need you to do it. Because you need you to do it to help you get better. I'm your best name and I want to help you, but you have to admit you have a problem. Alright, I'll do it for you because you're my main man in this world. Because I love you. Tibbets. Best team in the world, I was supporting you. It's been mad like that. It's very difficult because it's a tough time and he's gone through a lot of stress and you have to help him out with everything. So well, it gets really hard and 
I'm just looking forward to a life well, wow, hunky dory. It's the first thing you're gonna do when you get to Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up my own hunky dory business. Uh, except I'm not gonna snort my own supply because it's a mistake, you don't snort your own supply. End of story. Then uh, we plan on uh, mixing my own types of uh, hunky dories with glucose and see how they turn out with buffalo flavour and salt and vinegar and see what happens then. Then I'm gonna start applying them to North Dublin gains and stuff because they're hard and you know, that's where the money is. What advice would you give to other mothers that have sons taking drugs? Well, all the mothers out there, I would give advice to keep all the crackers away from them because they really get addicted to them. And especially the hung, the hunky dogs away, give them locked or something because they really get addicted to them. JD is now three years clean of hunky dories, crisps and all assorted cracker products. He went on to set up his own hunky-dory business with his best mate's bud. And guess what? He's making a packet.